Actually, in uh, one Asian language, uh, the word shaman actually translates to I don't know. <laughs> and I love that so much. Um, a fellow shaman, dear brother of mine, Paul mm -hmm. Alexander, who I've known for a long time, he comes from that lineage and tradition and, and our time as friends and in me working with him, he does incredible acupuncture. He's who shared that and he wrote the character um, mm -hmm. of that word shaman. And I've, I've had it on my refrigerator. And I just think right now it's an important place for us to be in just that space of openness, because what I'm seeing is you know, with this attempt of separation and division, it's tending to put people into two groups, like on two ends of a spectrum. And it's like, wow, you know, we're all these magnificent, infinite beings who are so multi-talented and multi-dimensional and incredible. And there's infinite possibilities of, of how to experience this life. How is it that we're being pushed into just these two ways of, of thinking? And so I just invite people to perhaps on that full spectrum of an earthly existence, if you sense, if you're honest with yourself, if you're a person that's tending to get pulled into one of those ends of the spectrum of this or that, invite yourself back more into the middle of just an open space of an open mind of the I don't know mind and just stay curious um, and stay in your center and stay in communing with your heart and the unseen realms so that, because if you let yourself stay too staunchly attached to one side or the other, you're going to miss out and cut yourself off from a lot of information that's trying to come in to serve your highest, greatest good. So the I don't know space is a beautiful space to be in. That's what came in. Thank you.